Hey everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live uh, here in beautiful uh, Hickson, Tennessee. I'm broadcasting live from uh, Chattanooga and uh, excited, excited to be here. Uh, my name is Josh. I am the social media guy for Gold Bond. Uh, so anything you see on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, uh, kind of goes through my corridor before it uh, it goes out to those places. So I uh, hope you've been finding some beneficial things there to aid in your uh, marketing endeavors. Um, we're going to talk about a few of those things today. Um, but man, first of all, it is hot out here. Um, I mean, we're going to get to the whole how to grow your followers on Instagram, how to grow your followers on Facebook, uh, how to build those organically without having to pay anything. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I man, it is warm out. I, I decided to do this outside today. The temperature says 75, but the real feel is like 85 with the humidity. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but thankfully, I have some new products that are going to help me out stay cool. Um, one of those things that I have to help me stay cool is this fancy new product, and we'll get to that in just a sec. Um, but uh, first of all, uh, how are you guys doing? If you have any uh, comments, questions, leave it in the uh, in the comments section below. I'll try to get to those as I can. Um, but wanted to share a couple things. Uh, first of all, how many of you guys are back to school yet? Anybody? I got four kids. And uh, all of them are heading back to school. Um, I, I just got married this last year, so we have kind of a blended family. And my stepson went back to school last week. And let me tell you, he is not enjoying the virtual school alternating back and forth. But what can you do? And then my three girls start this coming week. And we have actually have a really cool product that might be a good back to school thing. And that is this. Uh, it's called the 2HS. It's just a little hand sanitizer thing. It's easy to drop in the backpack and send along with the students uh, so that they can keep their hands clean. So uh, it's got a full color imprint on it. We've got a ton of these available. So it's a pretty cool little item. And then um, let's see, uh, as I mentioned, it is hot. You can't see over there, but there is a giant swimming pool. I really want to jump into. Uh, we'll have to save that for this weekend. But yeah, it's it's warm out. And if you're ever warm and you need a cool beverage, I recommend this guy. Now, it's work hours. So of course, I'm not drinking a White Claw. I got my uh, my Starbucks double shot uh, espresso here or something. Man, that is delicious. Um, but what's really cool is we have these um, these can holders here for the regular can sizes, but now we have this uh, slim neoprene can holder that is available for all of your slim can needs. So uh, I, you know, I like the, the hard seltzers. Uh, I like the Starbucks stuff. Uh, what, I mean, do you, you guys see this as a, as a cool need that you guys would have? I mean, imagine this on the boat, uh, around the swimming pool, all sorts of places. It comes with a full color imprint. Uh, so it's uh, printed a little bit differently. You can talk to your reps about that. Um, but it's, it's got a beautiful spot here to put your logo, to put some branding, whatever you want to. And we have a ton of these in stock right now. They will be available early next week. So make sure you uh, check with your reps about that. But this is the, uh, the SNCH, the Slim Neoprene Can Holder, coming really soon. So if you want to stay cool, want to keep your beverage cool, that's a good way to do this. You'll see me sipping on this throughout. Something else I'll be dropping throughout are some awesome dad jokes. Um, do you want to hear a dad joke? Or how about a joke about a piece of paper? Never mind. It's terrible. Get it? Sarah? Anyway. So um, one last thing. Uh, here in Chattanooga, we are still under a, a mask ordinance. Uh, so when we're out in public, and I'm at my home, so I don't have to wear a mask right now. But when we're out in public, going into businesses, we're supposed to wear a mask. And we have these awesome... Uh, cooling towel neck gaiters. So these also have a full color imprint. You can mix and match them with one of these guys, of course. But these, uh, you, you could even dunk these in water, put them around your neck, uh, wear them over your face, keep cool during the day when you're outside, and then you have them to take with you when you go inside. So these are the CTNGs. These are uh, kind of new still as well, but we have a ton of these in stock ready to be printed and used. So again, talk to your rep. Uh, they got this cool, it's a different kind of material. Um, it doesn't, you know, lock up super hard when it gets dry. It's very soft and very comfortable. So I'd recommend these guys. All right. Let's talk about social media. 
Um, if you have any social media questions, please let me know. But like I said, I do social media here at Gold Bond. Um, we've won a couple awards for that. We've helped out a lot of our distributors. And I hear lots of questions from uh, distributors in particular asking about how do I grow my following? How do I get more people to like my Facebook page, my Instagram page? And um, it's a tricky question because you can get lots of followers, but are they going to be quality followers? Are they going to be the ones that actually will give you a return on your investment, maybe give you a lead, bring a sale? Because in the end, at the bottom of that sales funnel, that's where we want things to happen. We want things to turn into a transaction to convert those uh, followers into customers. And so uh, social media is great at the top end of that funnel about building awareness um, as people are investigating things and growing interest in products. So, so how do we get social media to work for us? Well, here's a, a couple things, a couple things that we can do. Uh, and we'll start with uh, Instagram. So on Instagram, when you are building a following on Instagram, uh, a couple things you can do. You start off, first of all, with, with zero, right? You have no followers. So what I have done uh, personally and also with the company and with a few other companies that we help manage through our social media service is we kind of drop a, a map geographically, a pin right where that business is located and where you want to do business. So let's say you are a metropolitan city like um, like Cleveland or like Chattanooga, we will drop a pin there and then we will look in the uh, probably within a 10 mile radius of what particular businesses do you want to have following you or potentially to actually be your customers in that area. And so you might look at um, car dealerships, schools, uh, hospitals, um, businesses that would have a lot of neo you know, banks, places that would you could use some swag or could use some things like this. And what you do is you go to their website. So it takes a little bit of work. Go to their website, find where they are posting on social media, find their Instagram page, for instance, like their Instagram page, but you have to do more than just like it. There is kind of the common courtesy of if you get liked by someone, often they expect you or hope that you like them back. But more and more with a big company, that doesn't happen as much. But what will get you noticed is if you not only like them, but you leave a meaningful comment on one of their pictures. And this isn't a, hey, I saw a picture of a pen on your desk. You know, we sell tons of pens. Here's 18 links and here's our catalog where you can look at all the pens that we sell. Don't do that. That's annoying. It's spammy. That will get them to definitely not like you. But a meaningful comment could be something like, wow, I love your office space. What's your inspiration for your decor? Or, wow, that's a really cool pen. I have the same one sitting on my desk right now. Coincidence. Um, or you could talk about how you actually um, are a patron of that business and you maybe you use it. But just leave, leave something that will start a conversation that will get them to interact with you a little bit more. And as you do that, hopefully they will follow you back. And as other people make comments on those pictures, they will see that your business has commented and they will potentially like your business uh, as they as they see how you're interacting with others. So that's a, a trick that you can use on Instagram. Again, uh, find local businesses that you want to become your customers, uh, like them and leave meaningful comments on their posts. Find high engagement ones that have lots of likes and comments already and drop a comment in there and just kind of see what happens. Uh, I found a lot of success with that as I've done that. Whew. You know what? Here, here's another good joke. How do you... um? How do you find Will Smith in a snowstorm? How do you find Will Smith in a snowstorm? You look for fresh prints. Boom. That's that's another great dad joke. You look for fresh prints. I, I don't know if this is entertaining to you guys. It's really weird being out here. It's so calm, and I don't know if anybody's even, like, interacting. But uh, I hope you appreciate these dad jokes. You know, like, what? Uh, why does uh, Snoop Dogg use an umbrella? For drizzle. There's another one for you. Well, anyway, uh, let's cross over into Facebook world. So on Facebook, it's a little bit trickier building a following and getting those organic followers. But there are a couple things that you can do. The easiest thing is to cross promote all of your social media channels. So that means on a channel that is not Facebook, could be Instagram, could be LinkedIn, it could be an e-blast that you send out, uh, certainly your website. You wanna have those links to your Facebook page and to all of your social media platforms easily accessible so they just click it and they find it even better you can embed code that says you know just like our page it doesn't even leave your website and just automatically puts them as a like on your page so 
Make sure to cross promote, take advantage of those other channels of marketing that you're using to try to get people to uh, follow you on Facebook. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, another thing is you can do something like I'm doing right now. You can utilize Facebook Live and you can uh, get people to watch you that might not normally watch you because Facebook really likes live video and they will promote that video. Uh, and maybe people that aren't already following your page because they have similar interests to people that are following your page, Facebook will say, hey, here's something new. Maybe you'll like this. And then as you see people that like the video, that leave comments, you can in turn invite them to like your page. So that could grow your following there as well. Um, but the the biggest thing that you can do, and this is something I don't often see other businesses do. Pardon me while I, I take a drink. Hey, hey, real quick. Why shouldn't you take a test with a dull pencil? Because it's pointless. It's pointless. Anyway, so something you can do uh, as a, so hopefully by now, if you're on Facebook, you have a Facebook business page. Now, on your Facebook business page, you will have that updated with a, a banner and all the information will be regularly posting. But what that enables you to do is when you go to other businesses' pages, you can not only like them as your own personal profile, but in that little top menu where it has kind of like, follow, more, and then it has the little hamburger, the, the three dots, you click on that and it'll give you the option to like this page as your page. And so you can like other businesses as your business. And so here's where that comes in handy. So let's say you are, um, you know, you're a distributor and you are looking to get some local restaurants to, to follow you and to maybe buy some swag for you because they have outdoor seating. Maybe they want to get a can koozie, um, sorry, a can holder. Maybe they want to get some uh, neck gaiters. Maybe they want to get some pens, whatever it might be. So you want some local restaurants. So what you would do is you would like those particular restaurants that you want to become your customers as your business page. So you click on those little three dots. You like them as your page. And then you get a little bit creepy here. You start scrolling down, you find high interaction posts that they have. So maybe there's a post of a new menu or a new product and it has you know 25 likes and five comments already and a couple shares. Well, leave a comment there because it'll alert that business and everybody else that has commented or liked it, if their settings are correct, that you know your distributorship has liked it or made a comment. And then they'll go back and say, oh, interesting, I'm, I'm in a business too, I like this, maybe I'll check this place out. They might click on your page. You might get a couple followers there. So that's a way to build some of your following uh, by liking other business pages. Um, but really the, the most effective way is to just kind of get in the mind of your customers. Who are the customers that I want to follow me? Uh, maybe you want a school to follow you. So you have to think, what are other pages that this school would like? So maybe it's an athletic organization. Maybe it's a local newspaper or a, a local TV channel. Um, whatever it might be, you need to go to those pages that your potential customer might like and leave comments on those pages. You don't necessarily need to like them, but just leave some comments, like a picture here and there, maybe share something so that when your potential customer also goes to those pages, they see that your company is engaged in the same way that they're engaged. And then they might say, oh, let, let me check out this company because we seem to have some similar interests. And that might gain you another follower. And again, these initial steps might not lead to leads or sales, but social media isn't necessarily about leads and sales. It's about that top of funnel, about awareness, about getting interaction, about making people uh, interested in the things that you have to sell so that maybe a month down the road, they'll think, oh, I, I actually have a need for a neck gaiter or I have a need for some pens or uh, a can holder. I remember this distributor posting about that. Maybe I'll go back and see if they have that thing available. So start to branch out into other businesses. It, it's not enough anymore just to have a Facebook page and to post stuff. You actually need to engage with other like-minded businesses. And you'll even see if you go to another business on the, the left-hand side or left-hand side, depending on how you're looking at me, um, they will have related pages. And these are things that have similar interests. So go to those pages, find out the, the interests that they have and, and like some of those things, but really important on Instagram and on Facebook, leave a meaningful comment behind. Not a spammy thing, not dropping links in to buy your products, just something, hey, I, I appreciate what you do for our community, or I really like the service, or hey, my kid went there last week and had a really great time. Thanks for all that you do. Uh, maybe ask a question. 
um, you know, what what company do you use for uh, if it's a school? What what company do you use to take care of your your lawn and your grass? Because I need something for my business as well. Or it could be uh, I really like the way that um, your your towels for your rally towels are printed. What what imprint method is that? Uh, do you get those from the factory like that? So just just some meaningful questions. Um, and then one last thing that you can do. And this isn't an exhaustive list, but one other trick is you could go onto these company websites and you can find out who are the decision makers, who is the HR manager, who is their head of marketing, who's their president or vice president, and try to find them on social media. Find them on Facebook. Almost everybody has a page. And even if their page is listed as private, you can go to the about section and just see what are some of their interests? What are some of the pages that they have liked that might be things that they check regularly that you could maybe drop some comments in so that they can just be aware that you are a business in the area. Um, doing some of those things, uh, while they may be creeping people's profiles, these are tools that we have as marketers and as social media managers to get out there, to get our, our, our products out there, to help people see what we're doing. So, um, you know, what, what are some tips that you guys have found helpful? Um, you know, I, I think there's a, a good avenue of sharing things across social media. So are there things you found helpful, uh, things to avoid maybe, um, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments or, or even shoot us uh, a message and we'll we'll engage in that conversation. But um, those are just a couple things. I hope those were helpful for you. Uh, again, we have this amazing slim neoprene can holder. Still cold. Uh, we have this great cooling towel neck gaiter. Check it out. Uh, great to keep you uh, safe and cool. We got this hand sanitizer. Great back to school gift as well. Uh, and of course, uh, we are here to help with any social media or marketing needs that you have. We can't do everything, but we can do a lot. Uh, for example, we have a brand new uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month flyer that just dropped. It's in our flyer section on our website. Lots of great resources for you. Um, we have tons of things. So just ask if you have any questions, ask your reps, ask our marketing department. We are here to help you. And we would hope that you would follow us on social media. We're on all of them, so just check them. Uh, they're on our website at the bottom right-hand corner. You can follow us. Uh, and I just I hope that this has been helpful. Hope it's been a little bit entertaining. Uh, let me see if I can find one more good dad joke to end the day. Um, let's see. Uh, why? What is? Oh, here we go. What's brown and sticky? A stick. A stick is brown and sticky. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've had fun today, um, and we will see you back next week uh, around 1030 on Friday for another Facebook Live. Hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.